Hey guys, Mitch here. Uh, today we're trying to diagnose the disco, what I broke from Cooper Zilk's video. You'll see that soon, it'll come out probably next month sometime. But yeah, today just trying to diagnose what's going on with it. Front diff, rear diff at the moment. Got Phoenix under the car, he's uh, pulling apart tail shaft and whatnot. We've already got the wheels off, it's all jacked up. It's kind of dodgy, so I wouldn't do any of this for you guys at your own house because yeah it's a dodgy setup we're not professionals but you know we're pretty much backyard hacks at this rate yeah let's get into it here we have phoenix take it out mate get that mate <laughs> oh good <laughs> <G'day>, guys <laughs> oh i can't i'm not allowed to swear am i Yep, yep. Beep. Oh, no, mate. Bleep, bleep, bleep. How are you going on this? Oh, it's just, it's just like, loose. it's not. Is it loosened? It's somewhat, but it's just shaking around here a little bit, and I'm not too happy with it. Because then it's shaking around. Yeah, it's done. Alright, guys, we got the bolts off. Front end here. Now we're just doing. The spacer and yeah, got anything to add? It's a um bum to get off. I love it. Get a disco, they said it'll be fun, they said. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's one. Also a handy tip guys, uh when you take a bolt off. Put the nut in the washers. Put the on nut it. in the washers in Put there. Back on it. Then you don't lose them. Exactly. Because we've already lost a washer. Other side, mate. No, oh, yeah, that one. Right. And buy yourself an impact. Like this ain't the best brand. It's got wires hanging out, but it's does the job. It's getting the job done. Takes it, what, two seconds to get two bolts off? Well, we've got to get three, so it'll take us three seconds. Yeah. Hold on. I can't even see it, so am I on? Probably. Yes. After four easy bolts and a bit of messing around, uh, we got the tail shaft off. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Just took the axle bolts out. Now time to see if it's the axle that's split. All right, pull it. Oh, well, that axle's fine. So mm -hmm. we can come back when we get the next one off. Yeah. Do the other side and we'll see how that one is. Yeah, we still haven't put these on. Never put these on last use some sort of thread lock. Yeah. Now, it's not an exact science on how we're getting these off, but, you know, you make do with what you got. See? This is our make or break. Fucking diff center. Yeah, it's a diff center. It's done a diff center. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, how to drain the diff oil. Um, always a good thing to check your uh, fill plug first. So this one, check your fill plug before you even touch your bung. Because at least that way you know you can always fill it back up if you can't get your bung open. It's just, just a fail safe. 
Oh, yeah, better to do. All right, we'll get this in. All right, well, um, there's always another way I like to do these. <laughs> Grab my old friend over here, Aggie. And you just chuck him in to wherever he uh, wants to fit. Grime off it a bit. Might crack it loose with the Yaga Dugga if I can get it in there. And nope. I'm gonna just grab it. Definitely wasn't enough gift oil in it. There's a few shavings. So we're um battery died on our ruggedugger. So now we're up here. We're gonna take the diff centers out, have a look, see what's broken. There's a couple of bolts on it, so we'll probably set you up for a little bit and um, see how we go. Oh. oh, yep, it's done some gears. That's the culprit. <laughs> Holy shit. guys can see she's uh broken the absolute everything pretty much but yeah um can't wait to pull the front diff apart see what's wrong with it get these on the table and we'll have a better look at them yeah, well, do that. diff center's out so turns out it's actually snapped that bit there it's done pretty much all the spider gears we pulled out of the like diff housing we've done pinion it's done yeah i've broken the pretty much the everything the teeth seem to be all okay bar a few marks but that's not too bad i'm gonna have to replace this whole center i'm pretty sure because the inside of that's buggered and yeah here's your pin what do you reckon phoenix all in a day's work? All in a day's work, mate. Yeah, wow. Righto, guys. That's probably going to be it for this part of the video. I don't know how many parts we're going to make yet. I want to say thanks, Big Fino, helping me out. Took a day off work for this? Yeah, it took a day off work to work on this big girl. It'll be, yeah. um, be $7.20, right? No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> cheers for watching. Um, let us know if you're enjoying this sort of content. I've never made videos before or anything, so if the editing's not up to par or anything, you know, just bear with me. I am learning. Like we said at the start, none of us are mechanics. We just do this for a hobby. I've been doing it for... I'm a fucking steel frame, mate. Maybe seven years now, just as a hobby on my cars and stuff. I've been doing it for like seven minutes. Doing it for seven months, if that. I've showed him a little bit. 
Yeah. Um, it's my first discovery, so I'm still learning the ins and outs. The person that owned it before me, dailyed it for a couple of years and, you know, didn't really look after it, but he did, an, he did enough. Yeah. Catches on the next one. Yeah, yeah.